I say, rise up on your feet and give the Lord a shout. If you are alive in this room, shout unto God, my God, with a voice of triumph. I did not say whisper. I said, shout unto God with the voice of triumph. For the shout of the king is in their midst. The shout of the king is in your midst. If you feel a breath in your mouth, if your ears are still working, if your hands are still working, if your legs are still working, for this. Are you still looking? I said, if your ears are still working, your hands are still working, your mouth is still working. Give the Lord a shout, for the Lord has gone up with a shout. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Araba, would you pray the Holy Ghost for a second? Come on. Now as you begin to hear the sound of the instrument, you will lift your voice and let them hear it in Asia. In Africa, in North America, in India. I let you meet the end of you. Are you ready?
to lift your voices right now. Sing it without the instrument. Say we give you all. Come on. Yes. Arebasa pala teka paya. Register your presence before him tonight. Zoe is here. <laughs> One more time, don't stop right there. If you have praise in your lips, sing it. We give you. the instrument. Say, I love your voice. Sing it up. I love Shh. You have led me through the fire. There you go. My God. What do you know your God as? Tell him. Tell him. Tell him, tell him. Can you take it one more time? Say, I love you, Lord. I love For your mercy. My God. it up to him. Say, all my life, Ereba Shapa Late Kapaya, Ezua Nemate, Ezaba Late Kapaya, Ereba Taya, Ashapa Late Kapaya, Ereba Shapa Late Kapaya, Ashoko Pala Nemate, 
If you are sure about what you're singing, let the devil hear it. Say, oh, my life. For you are glorious. I can only imagine how it will be in heaven. If worship can be this beautiful, let it flow from your heart. And now to you, Jesus. out to God. Lift your hands all over this room. Lift your hands to him. This is not a show. May it never be a show. This is Zion. Lift those hands to him tonight.
make a commitment. You're going to tell him that I will never be silent. No situation, no devil anywhere can silence me from praising God. Are you ready to claim? I will not be silent.
tonight. Visit me tonight. I have not come yet to jump. I've not come yet to play. I've come for an encounter. And so, Lord, you must visit me today. Oh, Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me. I will not let you go until you change me. I will not let you go until you transform me. Come on, open up your mouth and say, Lord, today visit me. Oh, put your hands on your head and say, Lord, touch me tonight. Put your hands on your head and say, Lord, touch me tonight. Touch me tonight. Touch me tonight. Oh, God, I don't want to be the same. I don't want to be the same. Let 
chains be broken. Let sickness be healed. Let disease be gone. As they release the sound, let the light of God shine. Surround them with the fire. And let's declare over this place. Surround us with the wall of fire. All over this place. Fire of the Holy Ghost. On the streaming platforms. Fire of the Holy Ghost. On all the equipment. On the media. All the departments. The fire of the Holy Ghost. All over this place. We declare that no weapon found against this meeting tonight shall prosper. Come on. Open up your mouth and release the fire.
lift up your hands. I'll sing hallelujah to the Lamb for God. I'll sing Hosanna to the one who never died. The one who was that is to come. Jehovah. The mighty great I am. You are Jehovah. Now let me hear the people speak it tonight. You are. You are. You are. You are. You are. You are.
wherever you are, for we have come to Zion, the city of the living God. We have come to innumerable company of angels. We have come to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. We have come to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. We have come to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of heaven. We have come to the church of the firstborn. And in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions even the old men shall dream dreams. Oh, upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. And the people shall possess their possession. Would you lift your hands wherever you are? This is Zion. The city of the living God, lift your hands to heaven. Just bless it. Paul said, I will sing in tongues, and then I will sing in understanding. Would you open your mouth and sing in the Holy Ghost? Do I have some Christians here? Open your mouth and pray in the Holy Ghost. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We set up on you. Come and do. <laughs> I said we are here. Lift your hands. Come. We said, oh, lift your eyes, come and do. Sign again. Hey. We are. Come and do. We said, oh. Somebody set your heart. Set your heart. So we are here.
rising up. I said, I can feel it.
the Lord said to me many years ago said in the last days I'm going to move in two dimensions power and glory he says power through worship glory through wealth for through prosperity shall my cities be spread abroad these are the two dimensions that the Lord is releasing in this generation he's going to e equip equip worshipers all around the world the Davids are rising and they are standing at the forefront of the, of the battle have you seen the procession of the king into the sanctuary the singers went before followed by the musicians and he said I'm going to use prosperity I'm going to use finance I'm going to equip the body of Christ with so much money not for self advertisement but to propel and propagate the gospel I say there are people here who are about to carry this grace I say there are people here who are about to carry this grace you are about to walk the earth in power and glory in power and glory what more time is it for One more time, say for we declare for in one minute, would you just talk to the Lord? This is not a concert, just talk to the Lord. And I'm not telling you to ask for things. I want you to believe God for nations. If I were you, I would ask for things that will not finish. These are the days. to love you more because the Lord is looking for lovers not takers <laughs> for thine thank you Lord. hallelujah I want to welcome you tonight at your neighbor say you are in the right place you are in the right place look at another neighbor say you are in the right place can someone just release a shout for the shout of the king it's about death prepare you tonight we are going on a journey and the Lord has told me when I sense conference I will teach and we continue in worship to teach and we continue in worship until we hit that height look at your neighbor say what we are going for tonight is glory 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 Listen, the Lord began to share with me some, like a year ago, and he began to talk to me about a journey of intimacy. How that it starts from love. Love brings God to you. 
love brings you to God. Psalm 144 verse 3. What is man that you are mindful of him, that you visit? Psalms 42 verse 1. As the deer pant for what? So my soul. So love brings you to God and love brings God to you. But he doesn't stop at that level. He takes you to the next level, life. The light of God comes in the place of fellowship and begins to x-ray, shine on your life and begins to reveal weaknesses. Wait. Your vulnerability at that level, and I can, I mean Isaiah 6, the prophet saw the Lord and said, woe is me. Your vulnerability at that level takes you to the next level, fire. Fire comes to burn and refine. And the Bible says in verse 3, I believe, of verse 4, that the Lord touched him with a coast from his altar. He said, I'm a man of unclean lips. At the next and final level is glory. Glory is for dead men. Only dead men carry glory. They are dead to self, dead to things. Only dead men carry glory. This is, these are the levels of intimacy that we must always go on. It's a journey you must start. And it is a journey that you must finish. This is Jacob. The generation of those who not his hands. God is not a supermarket. It's not where you come and say, Give me this, give me this. And sadly, you get the miracles and then go celebrate it in club. God is looking for lovers in this generation and that's why we are here I'm saying this to begin to align our heart into the things that the Lord wants to do and the question I ask for you is how far can you go how far how far can you make this journey how far will you go oh he's looking for lovers as the day plants for the waters so my soul longs. Worship is not a means to getting things from God. Worship is who you are. For thou hast created all things for thy pleasure. When God looks at me, all he sees should be worship. And that's what we are going to do tonight. Lift your hands, everybody. In one minute, can you just tell him you love him? Minute from your heart. We love you. More than the things you give me, I love you. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. As the dear from the poor. The waters of my soul. You are my heart. Desire. Lift your hands and say, You love. Tell him tonight, You.
say for you alone for you alone come on tell him lift your hands and say for One more time, lift your hands and say, For you alone, for you alone, for you alone, for you. Tell him tonight, for. Da Jesus, Dolly Jesus, oh my Dolly Jesus, you're the wonderful God.
moment Simon can become Peter all he needs to do is to get to the altar many came for outpouring but few make it to the altar because the altar is the place of one-on-one one-on-one one -on -one encounter hey, leave me at the altar I'm struggling with homosexuality. Leave me at the altar. I'm struggling with perversion. Leave me at the altar. I'm struggling with greed. Leave me at the altar. Leave me at the altar with my father. Saul can become Peter. Only at the altar. Leave me at the altar. I'm tired of struggling. The labor of fools weary them. For they do not know how to enter the city. Hey, leave me at the altar. Somebody tell him tonight, say, oh, I love you, Lord, and I live. to worship you oh my soul reach up take joy lift your hands and tell it in what Lift your hands and tell him. Oh, I exalt you. I That's what we came to do tonight.
Saudi Arabia yet.
Rana Paradat, my God, Rano Stabaliade, Etebelegabano, Sipanadata, Anapala, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia. My God, I tell you, I sense the movement of angels. You are the mighty God. Lift your hands, everybody. And we be quiet. Lift your hands, close your eyes. Holy Ghost, this is the moment we spoke about. Close your eyes. Focus on Jesus. He's about to come like a wind all over this room. Father, from my right to my left. The great revivalist himself. I release you in this house. Come like a wind. Come like a wind. Come like a wind. One. Two. Ushers move around. Three. There was a day in the upper room. They were together in one accord. And suddenly, suddenly the Holy Ghost fell upon men. Fall. And the period I'm going to count to five and I'm going to trust my Lord, the Holy Spirit, to move all over this room. And I see breaking chains, breaking chains, breaking chains. Ushers help them a lot of Baradaka, Menetaliana, Kapayana, Holy Ghost, five, all over this room. Allah, Salabaradi, Kadada, Elop, Perwada, Katalia. For the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. For he has anointed me to bring good tidings to the poor. Holy God, seek them. Akame, Meredeste, Elwa Paradiaka, and Paradakate, and the Meredeste Dali, and the Paradakapa, and the Dai, seven. Let the wind of the spirit blow all over this room. I sense the hand of the Lord coming upon people. 
Lift your hands wherever you are. Close your eyes and be still. No movement. No movement. Close your eyes, be still. I sense the hand of the Lord coming upon people. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, let this hand rest mightily now. 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 This hand is about to bring you speed. Close your eyes. I'm, I, I know what I'm saying. This hand is about to bring you speed. It's about to take you from where you are to where you belong. Father, where are the people? All over this room. Touch them now. Let your hand rest. the Lord around right on Jesus give us more until we are wet and we are so Lord around it is real Sing softly. All around. I can feel. Ah, is a lot. Right on Jesus. Give us more. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say.
Wind, 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 that's what I'm seeing. Wind, wind, wind. East wind, east wind, east wind, east wind is blowing all over this place. I said I sense an east wind blowing all over this place. We give you glory. And on. You are the Lord. Let your name be glory. Don't miss your moment, capturing the moment. We You are. I sense the healing anointing in this house. But I'm waiting for a cue from the Holy Ghost. The hand of the Lord is going to rest on someone now. And now that, when that hand comes, when that hand comes, there will be a release of the healing anointing like never before in this house. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let that hand rest now. Let it rest now. Let it rest now. Let it rest now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lift your hands, everybody. Close your eyes. As I sing this song, just take it in. Whatever is not planted by my God in heaven from, your, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, they will begin to live one after the other. Just close your eyes. Lift your hands. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. It's not time for you to sing. Just receive. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Your day will raise your name, breathe the Lord. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Mm. Your day will raise your name, breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, put your hands where that sickness is right now. I command from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet 
whatever the Lord has not planted in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach I command them to be uprooted now cancer in the name that is above every other name I command you be uprooted pain in the chest I command you be uprooted now fibroid I command you melt now lumps in the breast Listabaro de Kapa, my God, lobs in the breast. I command you, melt now. Yes, yes, Lord. Back pain. The Lord is really back pain now. Back pain, go now. Yes, Lord. Somebody is being healed of shock, 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 and sensation in your body. It leaves you now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Asthma, go now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Pain in the joint, I command you leave now. Paralysis in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command you disappear now. Whatever the Lord has not planted in your feet. I command, I command you to live now in, in the name, name of the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I, I declare be healed now. I, I shall be healed now. Every, Every symptom I, I declare disappear now. now. In, in the name, name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The itching of the eye, it stops, stops now. Blind eyes, open now. Deaf ears, open now. Let the dumb speak now. Autism in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command you, go now. Pain in the shoulder, I declare, leave now. You foul devil of migraine. I command you go now. That menstrual cramp. Let that discharge. Let it stop now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare what was missing. Let it be found now. I command a replacement of vital organs in your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pain on the palm. It goes now. Indigestion and heart palpitation. I declare leave now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Now check your body. Check your body. Generation after generation. If you have confirmed your healing, move to the front. Move to the front. He prays with you. Get the word, stop the word. Hey! Then I ask the Lord. And it's on the earth.
some testimony. from Pastor, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. Your name is a strong star.
it just appears and there's balls in it and then when it pops, there's stuff that comes out of it and then blood also comes out, out of it. There's no cure for it. They didn't know what caused it. But I thank God I checked my armpit. I don't see, I don't feel any balls. I'm healed in the mighty name of Jesus. It's a, it's a mental issue in a sense, disorder, where it kind of messes with your person's, like, their basic, like, you know, movements. When you want to walk, it makes you feel scared. If someone is feeling some sort of... Uh, Wait. So when, when, she want, when she wanted to walk before now... It's impossible. You have to hold her. I have to hold her with her. Okay. I have to hold her hand. Now you walk and walk up. I walk with God the Father, walk with God the Son, I walk with God the Spirit, free of them.
vai faz So um, at some point I was walking around and I started feeling some pain in my knee and some people would have noticed I was crouching at the back there because I couldn't squat but when pastor said someone should do like this I actually tried to do it and I'm like wait I don't feel any pain anymore and now I can squat Next person, if I keep singing, we will not leave here. Hi. Excuse, hi, hi. My name is Emanuela, and um, I don't know when this started, but it kind of like started like a few months ago, and like it's like a pain here. I can't lay on the floor. Sometimes it comes like, and I can't breathe. I have to like take like five seconds to do like deep breathing and all. When I breathe in, like I feel pain. But like when you said, I was like standing in front, I stayed at the back, but I came front. When you said, um, put your, place your hands on the place that you feel pain, I put my hand there and I fell to the ground and literally I felt nothing. Like, I Lay felt to the nothing. Again. I cannot bow before you and bow before me. in my ear for over a week and when people speak or when I hear things it's like there is a they are drumming in my ears so last night I was, was really paining me and I put um, q-tips in the ear and when I brought it out it was it had blood I thought I was seeing double like it was a death I put another q-tip the two sides I was still seeing blood and um, by this morning I started feeling pains in the ear but right here after during the, um, the prayers I, I touched my ears and I can't feel the pains anymore. Now I can hear clearly. You can hear the, clearly. Clearly, there is no there is no drumming in my ear anymore. There is no tender to touch. I can touch it. I can press it. I can do whatever I want. Press, to do. press, touch, touch. Only fools doubt proofs. And only a fool says there is no God. I will declare you is reminding someone you feel pain on your feet it just disappeared now now stomp your feet you will find out that the pain is gone that pain you used to feel under under just left now see make up your mind not to shift tonight thank god tomorrow is labor holiday uh, because by the time pastor nath comes off stage Is going to go to another level. And we have some men of God here who will release the blessing over you. Don't miss that part. Yes. Praise the Lord. So for a while now, I've been feeling pain, back pains. I don't know when it started. I just noticed I've been feeling pain for a while. So I've, sometimes I think of doing exercises to stop it, but it just continues. And then Pastor said, said, just, just close, close your, your eyes, eyes, don't sing, don't, just be still. And then I closed my eyes, I just, I didn't even pray for the back pain. And then all of a sudden, the moment I opened my eyes, like, it's just gone, it's gone, I don't know. Just at the back of the neck, someone you are, it's like a, it's like a muscle pool at the back of your neck. The Lord is healing you now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. So what? So like whenever I stand still, like even while we were like singing, I had to go to the back just to like stretch because I was feeling discomfort. Anytime like randomly I can just stand and I feel pain. When I bend down, like I feel slight discomfort. But like now I can bend through like no pain. I have seen 
sin, the downfall of Satan, I shall. I've had chronic headaches, and I came here with the same headache and the severe back pain. And I wanted to sit down, and I said, no, I'm going to stand and praise the Lord, because how can I come here and I'm sitting down? And we were praying, and the headache and the back pain disappeared. I don't know how to thank the Lord, because it's been for so long. Praise the Lord! Your miracle becomes permanent in Jesus' Give us like five more. I know that day is very long. When I see my lover, I will dance for him. I've been on medication back and forth. I've done x-ray and massive, constant headache, high blood pressure and everything. And even when I got here this evening, I could not bend. I had to like sit down for a minute and get up. But during the prayer and during when he asked us to get up and just, I can bend, like I can't even feel anything, literally. And headache totally gone. Canada, is this how you said? Who did it? Praise the Lord. Yeah, um, I'll be having this pain under my feet like for the past like four months now, I went to the doctor. They said I should, um, I should go for um, um, X-ray. I went there, they said there's nothing I can do about it, that I should go for therapist. I went there, there was nothing to do. But as I was standing there, I can't wear high heels. When I wear it, I remove it. So pastor said something. He said, somebody's here that has pain under your feet that is healed right now. I just thank God for healing me, for I'm healed and it will never come back again in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you take it you? Please play me. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. You guys don't know it. They don't know Stomp here. Lately I've been going through something that turned me. If you know it's singing, so it hide the others. I come on. La la so so la mi mi re. It takes me high up to the sky.
I just wanna, I just wanna come here and give glory to God. Okay, sorry. I just wanna say, I just wanna come here and testify to the goodness of God. Um, before I came here, I actually was experiencing a lot of shoulder pain. A lot of what? Shoulder pain. Shoulder pain. It was like it's been hard to really move my left shoulder, and when you prayed for healing, I. I started moving my shoulder around and I noticed that the pain was gone. And I even went to my chiropractor and Speak louder, I even went to my chiropractor and he couldn't figure out what was going on. But you know, I want to just stand here and give glory to God. The pain is Can gone. you move? Can you? You are marvelous. Yeah. You are marvelous. Your miracle becomes permanent in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for healing. I've been having this pain on my leg. Once I'm walking on the staircase, I feel the pain. And even while I was dancing, I was feeling the pain, but I told so, God. Who is it that cannot feel that love again? It just literally disappeared. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Please come, come. I just sensed it now. Come, 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 come. I just sensed it now. I just sensed that the Lord was healing long and it's literally just disappearing. And these are not just the two people. There are many in this place. Check yourself. God just healed you. Right now, it just disappeared. That arrow that was fired just returned back to sender. Check. So I've been having this strange pain on my leg. Once I'm walking down the staircase, I feel the pain. And even while I was dancing, I was feeling the pain on my leg. But I told God I'm going to dance my best. And while Pastor was praying, the pain disappeared. While you were dancing, now you are going to dance. Up at the you better dance well. family like a flood. This boy, his name is Josiah Ebinu, and he fell down from the balcony, 10 feet down to a concrete floor. And we thought he was done. By the time the air ambulance or the, the ambulance was called, it was critical. And they basically... <laughs> They called, um, my husband was saying they were calling the air ambulance to lift him, but I ran to my prayer closet and I said, God, this must be a nightmare, but I ask you to bring my son back home. Even if he's not walking, even if he's, just bring him back home alive. But this God, he brought this boy home fine. <laughs> Church, you see, the, the Bible says that the enemy is like a roaring lion. That very week, another boy on the street fell, and he died. Same, same age. So we will never understand what that means, but we just want to thank God for that. When that boy, when this boy came back home, all he wanted was worship with Dunsin. That's all he wanted. Church, before 
before the upper room, about a week before the upper room, my niece came to take the boy for a play date. And guess what? The doctors had told us, make sure his head, nothing ever happens to it again. My niece took him to play and the boy fell and hurt his head. He lost his hearing for almost a week. I said, I'm still going for the upper room. I was a volunteer. I'm still going and God, I trust you. I was one of those that came with the faith of, I don't know what, but I came and this God, actually Minister Dunsen prayed for me. When he was just about to leave, he met me in his car and held my hand and said, what's his name? I told him Josiah. Minister Dunsen prayed a quick prayer. I went back home, the boy still wasn't hearing. My husband said the following day, let's listen to the upper room again. So we listened to the upper room. The boy came downstairs the following day and he said, why is it so loud? We the same thing he does he looks for them when they are young and when he senses and sees a great destiny is all he wants to do is to abort it now you are stretching your hand to this boy as a point of contact to every every child not only in this place but in this generation their destinies will not be aborted open your mouth and release words right now will not be aborted we use you as a point of contact declare Isaiah 4 verse 5 upon all our children the glory shall be a defense let the glory of the Lord rise let it rest upon this ones this ones we stand at the gate and then we answer the enemies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we declare that the Lord is a wall of fire around you and the glory in your midst so shall it be in Jesus precious name amen somebody give God all the glory
Yes, please. Yes, please. The hospital awaiting fibroid surgery. As soon as you mentioned fibroid, I checked. I can't find it. Is that how you celebrate Jesus? 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 Man of God, my phone is buzzing. I don't know if you can take all the testimonies, but let me just read two, of, two more. You say, pain in my feet and back has disappeared. That's from Yinka. Brown Neri says, 16 years, itchy eyes. I remember you mentioned that here. 16 years, itchy eyes. Heal in this service. I give glory to God. The ladies that had the love. Praise the Lord. My name is Tosin, and God just performed a three-in-one miracle on me. So, I've been um, having pain on my shoulder. We prayed, and it went. I had pain on my knee. We prayed, and it went. And for, for a couple of months, I've had a lump on my breast. I went to the doctor and they said there was nothing they could do and they didn't want to touch it because it was so small and they didn't want to hurt anything. As we prayed, I checked it and it's not there anymore. Who will not serve a God like this? You know, this is how the enemy is so seed. See, all the enemy needs to do is sow a seed and leave. Because it will grow. But sir, the axe is led to the root. Whatever the Lord has not planted, because there are some things that the Lord did not plant. Jesus came and said, an enemy has done this, an enemy has done this, sir. an enemy has done this, an enemy has done this, sir. an enemy has done this, sir. in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command everything the Lord has not planted in your body, right now, in this service, sir. in the name of Jesus Christ, sir. of Nazareth, sir. the same way he has the victory, I declare they have cast now. I declare the act is led to the root. Whatever the Lord has not planted, let them be uprooted now. So this person, I know this person, well, not personally. Well, um, yesterday she was begging me for a ticket to come for this event. So she sends me a message now. She says, lump in left breast disappeared. I have had it for over 15 years. She's my contact. I'm and sure she's in this hall. 15, 15 years. The lady that... This thing called lump. You know, the enemy can pack eight things and give it a touche name. Lump. Does it not sound touche? If you are not careful, it will become calm. God forbid. Lump. Lump. Gone. Oh yeah. Pastor Nath said lump. Gone. Somebody say lump. Say gone. Listen to me. Learn how to sow seeds of words. When we tell you in the faith, atmosphere like this, faith field atmosphere like this to say something, you better say it. That was prophetic. It was, it's not just a gesture. That is the Lord speaking. Say it one more time. Say, Lord. 
Thank God. And guess what? It may not be physical law. It may. Ah. Uh, love is whatever is not supposed to be there that is there. That's the definition of love. I said love is anything that was not supposed to be there. That is now the Akarabal and Natalia. Whatever is not supposed to be in your destiny, I declare God. Love. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm giving you a definition of love today. Whatever is not supposed to be there is called love. And what you do to love is love. Some of you, you will get home and you will find out that love. Delay can be love. I said delay can be love. You didn't hear me. I said delay can be love. Affliction can be love. Nightmares can be in the name of the one who sent me, love! Praise the Lord. Um, about four, five, six months ago, um, I kind of noticed that... Uh, Waste pain. The Lord is just healing someone. God! God! I said, God! Yeah. About four, five, six months ago, I noticed um, a little lump on my left breast, and I kind of ignored it. And so, <laughs> so I, I kind of ignored it until it started to hurt, and then I went to see a doctor, and he sent me to do an ultrasound um, and a mammogram. And then when I went, both places said. The lump was suspicious um, and typical of malignancy, which means it was looking like cancer. And it's just been there. Can you there. see how lump is? Can you see what I'm talking about? This is a... And so um, they had to do a further investigation. So last week, Monday, I'd gone for a biopsy. So I still have the tape on my breast. But when you were praying and you said... You said something about cancer, and I'm like, Lord, that's not specific enough. I need you to refer to the lump in my breast. And the next thing you said was a lump in your breast, and then you kept talking, and then you said, go and check. But I was sitting right there, and I'm like, I can't take my bra off right here. So I went to the bathroom, and I lifted it up, and I touched. But I'm like... Somebody said, love! Go! But I said, Lord, God. Now, did you listen? Can you listen to what we're saying? Not love, hope. It's not love, go. No. Love, God. Ay, 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 ay. One more time, somebody said, Lord. I need you to document all those testimonies. But I stretch my hands in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because I don't want us to, if we continue like this, we will not live here. Your testimony is permanent. Okay, the Lord is healing a man on the prostrate, just around the prostrate right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You are healed now. Around the prostrate, the Lord just healed you now, now, now. If you are the one, run to the front. I want to hear that testimony. If you are the one, run to the front. The Lord just healed you around the prostrate. How you will know is that the symptom just disappeared. It just disappeared, disappeared, disappeared. I, I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, allness, allness, perfection, 
in the name of the Lord Jesus we give you praise father in Jesus precious name please find your way to your seat quickly before we bring pastor up give me like 10 minutes there's a sound now anytime we, we prepare for a major meeting the Lord gives me a song he, must, he gives me a sound that's my litmus test that yes you are with us and I, he will always give us a sound when we are in London the Lord gave me stand in the gap we stand in the gap for a generation we raise the sound to say we will When we, when we came in here, the Lord gave me a sound. And it's, it's such that I must be in the city before I hear the sound. And then the Lord gave me the sound. I don't want to bore you, but I want us to sing it because I must release that sound. It's on beat back. Six. It says, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Kadosh, we worship you. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Kadosh, we worship you. Say it again, say Kadosh, Kadosh. Yes, Lord. Say Kadosh, Kadosh. This part says, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Kadosh, we worship you. Lift it up. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Kadosh, we worship. Say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah.
year remembrance but here we are having one year deliverance and I think that God deserves a thank you look at the gift that we would have said is not around that devil is a liar so can we give him thanks my victory is in your blood My confidence is in your name You took the shame so I can shine So much you did without a price My victory is in your blood My confidence is in your name You took the shame so I can shine All this you did without a price That's why we sing it It means thank you. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all my God when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for Dusi Oyeko our very soul shall shout has done so much for us we cannot tell it all if we had 10 billion tons it still would be enough hallelujah
thanksgiving service. He has taken away the bad report and given us joy and victory. See the way he has lifted you. Hey. Canada. Let's do this together. This Thanksgiving service.
Just pray in the spirit something. The, the, the atmosphere has just changed. The climate has changed. I'm going to release the sound of the trumpet right now. A prophetic sound. We, there's been a lot of prayer in the back end for this outpouring. And this is not a concert. 
the sound of the trumpet will signify a couple of things it's a prophetic announcement that is a new day in Canada in Toronto in Ontario that the king has that revival is here that his kingdom has come we're not joking if last year or so we were we, we, we went to London and released that sound and things shifted lift your hands things are going to shift the sound of the trumpet would also release mantles on people when you shout tonight three is my prophetic number you see I was sharing with my brother that the, the sort of confirmations I got for this event, I would have, we would have stepped out on just one of those confirmations, but I got about four of them. And God speaks to me, you know, a couple of ways in word witness from time to time, dreams and visions. I, I've got a strong knower, and then many times through, you know, signs, tokens, and similitudes. I was going to my hotel room yesterday in New York, and then the Holy Spirit just witnessed in my heart, look at the date. Sorry, the the number of your room it was three 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 I made a transfer on GT Bank and one of the codes came back as three 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 I said what's this three three it was when I flew here what was what, what I was about to land I said oh today is the third of September nine multi another multiple of three So we're going to release this sound three times. And God has given me some little grace that whenever we release this sound, he shows up. Thank God for Dusi and I and, you know, a couple of the rest of us. But God sent us here to, to conscript some other Dusis and Nathaniels and Victorias. So as I sound the trumpet, the psalmist mantle will rest on people here. God did not bring you to Canada to live a good life. It was for the God life. He sent you here to establish his kingdom. He sent you here to lift up the gates. I was in a meeting like this years ago. Dr. Panam was ministering. And something entered me. And look at the ripple effect. I don't know who is here tonight. I don't know who came here fasting. For an encounter as i blast this trumpet you will feel literally a a cloak come upon you i want you to pray in tongues for one minute something's about to rest on you prophets where are the prophets where are the intercessors by god by god by god as i mentioned intercessors something lived where are the intercessors those who will say give me toronto or i die Hey, where are the apostles? Fire is about to come on you. Yesterday I saw the Niagara fall. It's going to come like the fall. When you hear the sound of the trumpet, every time I blow the trumpet, you will shout fire. Another thing the sound of the trumpet will cause is the breaker's anointing. Ah. We carry a breaker's anointing. Who are thou, O great mountain, standing before Zerubbabel? You have become a play. I see great and effectual doors. Open. I'm stirring you up. I'm stirring you up. When you hear the sound of the trumpet, you will release fire. Are you ready? We'll sound it three times. Keep praying in the Holy Ghost. If you are here and you can't pray in the Holy Ghost, there will be a baptism of fire. This is an outpouring. Agwara Bati. Agwara Oluwa. Agwara Bati. Are you ready? Lift your hand.
the last one I want you to shout fire and finish me doing Mantles are dropping. I'm going to worship the Lord shortly. We came to activate some people. There are people who will live here tonight and suddenly you will know why God created you. Your purpose will be unveiled. It's happening right now. It's happening right now. The voice of the Lord will be activated. The prophetic will be activated. The miraculous will be activated. Romans 15 verse 9. Give me Romans 15 verse 9. Oh, through mighty signs and wonders from Jerusalem to Illyricum, Paul preached fully the gospel of Christ. Some people are receiving new tongues. There's a baptism of fire. Some of you are feeling heat on your hands. You are feeling warmed. When we come in your name, you are with your name.
Someone is sensing his presence strong. He's sharpening your awareness of him. There is a river in this place already. Just drink, drink from it. Very soft.
Someone is finding their love again. Somebody is finding their love again. Just the sisters, the ladies alone, sing. You sing it like you are whispering, like like you are whispering. Exalted in the earth. The king of glory is in his temple. This is a song of heaven. This is not a song I would have written. Heaven sang it and I heard it. Say your name, lift your hands to him. Something happens whenever I sing this song. A river is released. Healings. Intimacy. It's throne room worship.
soldi di Nottario il soldi di Toronto in America is a weight the glory of God is called the carbon is waiting is waiting is coming on someone is waiting you feel like a weight is coming Can you give us the spotlight? We don't want anybody seen on stage. Just, just give us a spotlight. Let him be him. He's, he's taking the stage right now. Adonai, we introduce you right now. Take the stage. Only the ladies sing Adonai. When his presence. Sing Adonai Adonai. 
Sister singer do nice, sisters low. That spirit that has been tormenting you lives right now. Sing Adonai. Everyone sing God or nine without the music. I do see I, I, I sense a leading in my heart keep, keep playing I sense that the gosha is about to burst the fountain of the deep is about to burst please can I crave your indulgence if, if Prosper is still here you and I join with him we'll sing this and then we go to out of your belly shall flow rivers of your belly. Let's 
to surrender their lives to Christ now. If you miss this moment, it's like missing destiny. Wherever you are, you want to give your life to Christ. Find your way to the front now. Now, now, now. This is no 
not a time to be ashamed. This is why we came. This is why you came. This, this is why, is we, why came. we came. Yes. There's no need to talk too much. The Holy Ghost Himself is convicted. In Acts 2, in the day of Pentecost, they said, Was our Lord not come? If you are not in Christ, you are not saved. Find your way to the front now. the cross he saw you he went for you for you open your mouth right now and express your heart lord i'm sorry have mercy and you know the irony there are people in this room right now that you're supposed to find yourself here make your way before we make this prayer I'll count to seven. One. Two. Find your way to the front. Find your way. Find your way. Find your way. Three is calling your name. What can wash 
One more time. Say, oh. You know why I'm saying this? Because as soon as you turn back, the enemy will come for you and start infiltrating you. This is the best thing that can ever happen to you. See, the day you give your life to Christ is the day you start to live. Because you were separated from God. It's like a product that's separated from the manufacturer. You can't function well. Now, today is that first day that everything begins to realign. Let me tell you, angels are rejoicing now. You are so priceless. Jesus went to the cross for you. Put your hands on your chest. And please... Confessions are powerful in the kingdom. With mouth, with the heart, man believes. But with the mouth, makes confession unto salvation. So what you are about to say now, not just mere words. It's about to change your life forever. Say, Jesus. Say, I come to you today. Say, I ask for mercy and forgiveness of all my sins. Say, I am sorry. Say, I ran away from you. I did some bad things. But today, I make up my mind to come back to you. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus to wash me away from every iniquity. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus to wash me away from every sin. Say, from today, I declare that I'm a new man in Christ. All things have passed away. Say, all things have become new. Say, I live a new life from this moment. Say, the Holy Spirit now comes into my heart and into my life to help me, establish me, and perfect me, and present me unto the day of His appearing. Say, I have decided to follow Jesus. Say, no turning back. Say, praise God. I am born again. Say it one more time. Say, praise God. I am born again. Everybody, can we say it together? Say, praise God. I am born again. Your life just changed now. Congratulations. It's a new season for you. Come on, come on guys, come on guys.
gave you some materials. Is there a place we have written them? No. Yes. So we gave you some materials to help you establish you. My team, our team is going to tell you the next things to do. How to be established in the church and so on. Please, can you turn in your right mind them and just follow the gentleman raising his hand there. We just want to take like two, three minutes of your time and we are coming back. They are coming back to join us. Please, can we welcome them into the beloved? Hallelujah! Listen, we have three more things to do tonight and they are very important. Please stand to your feet. They are very important. Nobody should move. They are very important. Don't miss your moment. You know, meetings like this, when the Lord sends his prophet, there's a prophet of God in the house that we're about to bring off stage in some few minutes to release some very dangerous proclamations upon us. And I don't want you to miss it. I don't want you to miss it. I don't want you to miss it. So please give us some few minutes and then there's going to be after party. But before then, the Lord was speaking to me whilst I prayed. And he said to me, it's prophetic that you are in this kind of arena. Because this is a stadium. This, this is an ice hockey stadium. And the Lord said to me clearly, Isaiah 90, a people who are stuck in darkness, unto them has appeared a great light. And he said to me, he said, from this day, our stadiums will not only be known for sport. Please believe me. It will not just be a place where they gather for sport alone. It says, I am initiating another wave of tent and stadium revival. Believe me when I say, it. I am initiating another wave of tent and stadiums revival. Watch out. Our stadiums will again be filled. Not only to watch football or to watch sport, but we will gather together to meet the king of kings. And I want uh, Pastor Nathaniel, we are going to release a lot of that Lord, as a prophetic sound that this moment, this Kairos moment, just initiated upon the body of Christ then and stadium revival. And you will see what will happen after this. So we are going to bring out your phones. Put on the light. We are going to sing this song. Raise an anthem that we echo in Asia, echo in Africa, echo in Europe, echo in North America, in South America, in Antarctica. Please, can you rise to your feet? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a mighty, mighty God. You are good, you are kind, but you are born and deep. Lost for words, trying to describe. Elohim, Elohim, how shall we? Your greatness is all I see. What? There is nothing you cannot.
Please welcome with me, Dr. Amos Fairwa, a prophet of God. I just sense there's a word in the spirit to release over us. Please receive with me, Dr. Amos Fairwa. Somebody shout hallelujah! change is coming for you. Within 24 hours after this meeting is over, testimony will be your house. Good news is coming to your fold. You will hear good news. God is raising new help for your destiny. Every assignment you want to do, help is released. Before you get home tonight, you will hear good news. Great door are open for you. Miracle is following you home now. Receive it. Receive it. Anyone that thinks you are stranded in Canada right now, Elba is ready for you. Go and testify. Thank you, Father. Give Jesus a clap of return. You know, the Lord just spoke to me, said, let there be an after party, hallelujah, challenge. 
you were going to tell me that. Oh, wow. He was going to do that before Lauren, right? Can you see what? This is how the Lord works. So if you like, move. If you like, go. Don't miss your Kairos moment. And let me tell you, I, I see, what I'm seeing is Psalms 46 as we begin to release praise. The Bible says, it causes wars to cease. Even to the hands of the earth. Some of you have been hanging in Canada. You know what I'm talking about. After this praise. Yeah! Wahala for Satan. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My God, my God. Somebody say, hey, 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 hey. hey. Sorry, let me do some housekeeping quickly. Please, can we celebrate all the men of God here tonight? Thank you so much, sirs. Thank you so much, Ma. Uh, Pastor Goke Koka, I, 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 I know you just left, right? Thank you so much for coming. All the great men of God doing great work in Canada. The Lord bless you. We, we appreciate you. We celebrate you. One more time. Ebenezer, hey! Ebenezer, hey! Calm down, calm down, calm down. I'm just wetting your appetite. We're about to start. But before we go tonight, um, I'm going to ask the team, you know, I always shy away from these things. But the Lord rebuked me recently and said, hey, let people be part of what we are doing. I mean, come in here, you know, you have an idea. God has been very faithful. If you feel led to be part of you know, this work, we are going to the nations of the earth. Because first it was, then it turned to, your worship. Let me do a subject. Who is on the Lord's side? Okay, 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 I shall. If you, you, you want to be part of what the Lord is doing with us, I'm going to ask the media to put, um, yeah, scan the code. You can be part of what the Lord is doing. Give support. It's going to the ends of the earth. I mean, this is the real and the meaningful way of using money. Yes. Somebody say, I'm not a slave to money. Say, money is at my back and call. Say, I send money on error. Please be part of what the Lord is doing all around the world. It's going to happen in Lagos very soon. I'm just giving you. America, we are coming. We are coming. We're coming, we're coming very soon. In 2020, the angel of the Lord appeared to me and showed me two nations that I must go. But I won't say more than that. But between now and next year, we're going to be hitting those nations. Canada, you can never remain the same again. So I want us to support what the Lord is doing. Give from your heart and uh, we trust the Lord to take this walk to the next level. Please, can you celebrate with me, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi? Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. The only thing I will say is make sure you have a brother like Pastor Nathaniel. 
That's all. That's all. They said the link is not working. That devil is a bastard. Link, walk. How do you holler? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Just calm down. Can we try it one more time? Is it working now? It's working. It's working. Is it working? Is it working? Oh, no, God. Children of God. Everybody say Listen to me, please take this seriously. The joke of a prophet is prophecy. The next 30 minutes is crucial to your destiny. Trust me, let's break it up. The next 30 minutes, we are going to end by 10.35. 10.35. The next 30 minutes is crucial to your destiny. Don't miss this moment. Things that were not... I see someone going on a vicious cycle. The Lord wants to break it now. You will see this week, all you will be hearing is approve us, approve us, approve us, approve us, approve us, approve us. Someone you are here, wow. Someone you are here, you're already slated to be deported. The Lord said, I should tell you, divine intervention. Please, can we celebrate Brother Prosper Ochimana? Sister came all the way from America. Sister told me favor. Please, can you celebrate her? Help me celebrate. And can you celebrate your own minister? Call up the cast. Are you ready? Are you ready? One more time, somebody shout. Hey, 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 hey. You better shake that chain off your feet. Say, hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Pastor now. Aya.
Judges 21. Verse 20. Let's read. Judges 21, verse 20. As you dance, the, the favor for marriages will be released. Hey! In Victoria Renza, myself, Prophet Tiffany had the same vision in 24 hours. I saw a big diamond ring. God is about to release break at the kingdom marriages. Let's read one to go. Want everybody, let's read one to go. They commanded the children of. Benjamin is saying, go and lie in the way in the vineyard. What happened by 21? 21, good. 21, quickly. Quickly, 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 quickly. And, and behold, if the daughters of Shiloh come out to dance in dances, yeah. then call me out of the vineyard and catch you every man his wife. For the people that dance tonight, Father, release and grace. In the next eight months, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, from new beginning, by strange act of your favor. Chee, 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 chee. So we start from a Vinisa, get a white hand, then we enter Hallelujah Challenge, and we finish with Hallelujah. Ebenezer, hey, hey. Hey, 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 
everybody the Lord bless the Lord bless and keep you and keep make his face make his face shine upon and be gracious to the Lord face toward
you know this time last year the Lord delivered me from a very major accident glory sin I was on my way to minister for a father in the faith and I stood up in a car I wasn't the one driving I was a driver and there was a man, a, a protocol in front and I was at the back. And the Lord put this deep sleep upon me. I'm sure it was somewhere than seven minutes. And somehow we lost the tire in the front. And then the car lost control because it was, it was about to overtake a truck. So we lost the tire on the right side of the front wheel. So the car started drifting us. Now, all this I'm telling you are reported speech because I was asleep. And then drifting us to the, to the truck and under the truck and the truck literally started shredding the Jeep. Toyota Prado, removing the roof, and I was asleep. But uh, he who keeps Israel. That was why Pastor Nathaniel was singing those songs of thanksgiving. And I woke up and found myself behind the driver. You didn't get that. The place of impact was that side. What we call Onas Corner in Nigeria. But the angel of the Lord put me to sleep and moved me to the back of the driver. I woke up and literally saw open heaven. The roof was gone. To cut a long story short, God saved all of us in that car, including the driver, the gentleman in front, and they didn't have to bring me out. I walked out myself. with no strut. No bone was broken. No scratch on my body. Guess what? God did not even allow me witness it, so there was no shock. I say this to say what I want to say. You are going to help me release seven hallelujahs. Please, if you love, if you love Jesus, don't even love me. If you love Jesus, you will help me release seven hallelujahs before we go on tonight. As a memorial of thanksgiving to the Lord. Because to the Lord our God belong escapes from death. Ah, Psalm 68. Yes. How I came out, I, I'm telling you, I don't know. No scratch. My white clothes was still white. Please, can we release seven hallelujahs? One. and just give him praise for what he has done tonight.
Give him glory. Give him glory. Father, we bless you. We give you praise. Return all the glory to him. Return all the glory to him. Return all the glory to him. Return. Return. We are about to share the benediction in a song. Return all the glory to him. Father, we give you praise. Thank you for the wonderful move of your spirit tonight. To you be all the glory. Father, we exalt you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the things he has done in your life. You are living here as a new man, a new man. A new man is Saul, also among the prophets. You are living here as a new man. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name we pray. All the ends of your neighbor, let's share the grace in song. At the end of my worship, the reward is you. Come and say, it. since I have you, I am everything. my worship the reward is you since I have you I have everything I will ever need say it one more time say at the end of my worship the reward is you Be with you. Be with you. Do my time, sorry. 
North America, in South America.